Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss IS code method for the determination of net ultimate bearing capacity of the soil. The equation for the net ultimate bearing capacity for general shear failure by IS code method is given as QNU is equal to C N C S C D C I C plus Q N Q minus one S Q D Q I Q plus zero point five D gamma N gamma S gamma D gamma I gamma W dash. So here we can see that the equations in Terzaghi's bearing capacity theory and Wessex theory were given for QU that is ultimate bearing capacity. Here the equation is given for net ultimate bearing capacity where Q is the effective pressure at the base. Since QNU is equal to QU minus gamma DF that is ultimate pressure minus surcharge. Hence QNU is equal to QU minus small q. The factor W dash is taken into account for the effect of water table. If the water table is at a depth of Df plus B measured from the ground surface, then W dash is equal to 1. If the water table is likely rise to the base of the footy or above, the value of W dash is taken as 0 0.5. If the water table is located at depth D below the ground surface such that D lies between DF and DF plus B, the value of W is obtained by interpolation. The bearing capacity factors NC, NQ and N gamma are same as those given by the basic. NQ is equal to tan square into 45 degree plus phi dash by 2 into e raised to pi tan phi dash. Nc is equal to nq minus 1 into cot phi dash and n gamma is equal to 2 into nq plus 1 into tan phi dash. The shape factors and inclination factors are also same as those are used in basic theory. So this is the table which was we have discussed in basic theory. The value of SC, SQ and S gamma for stiff footing, footing is 1. Then for rectangular footing, SC is equal to 1 plus B by L into NQ by MC. And SQ for rectangular footing is 1 plus B by L tan phi dash. And S gamma for rectangular footing is 1 plus 0 0.4 B by L. Similarly, SC for circular or square footing is 1 plus NQ by NC. SQ for circular or square footing is 1 plus 10 phi dash. And S gamma for circular or square footing is 0 0.6. The depth factors are given below. DC is equal to 1 plus 0 0.2 DA by D, uh, B tan 45 degree plus phi dash by 2. DQ and D gamma are equal to 1 for phi dash less than 100, uh, 10 degree. DQ is equal to D gamma equal to 10 plus 0 0.1 DA by D tan 45 degree plus phi dash by 2 when phi dash is greater than 10 degree. Now let us discuss the net ultimate bearing capacity for local shear failure. It is given by the equation QNU equal to 2 by 3 C N dash C SC DC IC plus Q N dash Q minus 1 
एस क्यू डी क्यू आई क्यू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव बी गैमा एन गैमा एस गैमा डी गैमा आई गैमा इंटू डब्ल्यू डैश सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इक्वेशन फॉर जनरल शेयर फेल्युअर एंड लोकल शेयर फेल्युअर इज द फर्स्ट टर्म टू बाय थ्री इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द फर्स्ट टर्म एंड एन सी इज रिप्लेस बाय एन डैश सी एन क्यू इज रिप्लेस बाय एन डैश क्यू एंड एन गैमा इज रिप्लेस बाय एन डैश गैमा द वैल्यू ऑफ बियरिंग कैपेसिटी फैक्टर्स एन सी डैश एन क्यू डैश एंड एन गैमा डैश आर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन फॉर द एंगल ऑफ मोबिलाइज फ्रिक्शन दिस एंगल ऑफ मोबिलाइज फ्रिक्शन इज ऑप्टेन एज फाइ एम equal to tan inverse of 2 by 3 tan phi m and using this value we will be getting value of bearing capacity factors out of which nc is equal to nq equal to tan square 45 degree plus phi m by 2 into e raised to pi tan phi m nc is equal to एन क्यू माइनस वन इंटू कॉट फाइव एम एंड एन गैमा इज इक्वल टू टू एन क्यू प्लस वन इंटू टेन फाइव एम इनकेस ऑफ कोहेजन लेस सॉइल्स इफ द रिलेटिव डेंसिटी इज ग्रेटर देन सेवेंटी परसेंट एंड वॉइस रेशो इज लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फाइव द फेल्यूअर इज कंसिडर्ड एज जनरल शेयर फेल्यूअर ऑन द अदर हैंड If the relative density is smaller than twenty percent and the void ratio is greater than zero point seven five, the failure is local shear failure. For relative density between twenty percent and seventy percent, the void ratio between zero point five five and zero point seven five, the bearing capacity factors are obtained by interpolation between general shear failure. and local shear failure for example let us consider the case when the relative density is 40% which is in between 20 and 70% phi dash is equal to 30 degree the bearing capacity factors for general shear failure are nc equal to Thirty point one four, n q is equal to eighteen point four, and n gamma gamma is equal to twenty two point four. Now phi m is equal to tan inverse of two by three tan thirty, which is equal to twenty one degree. So using this value of phi m equal to twenty one degree, we will get the corresponding bearing capacity cap uh, factors for Local shear failure, which are equal to n dash c equal to sixteen point zero one, n dash q equal to seven point two five, and n dash gamma is equal to six point four nine. Let us find the ultimate bearing capacity for c equal to zero. Since c is equal to zero, the first term out of these three term. in bearing capacity equation become zero let us assume b equal to 2 mm sq dq s gamma d gamma equal to 1 df equal to 1 w dash equal to 1 and gamma equal to 20 kN per meter square then for general shear failure where dr is greater than 70% Q N U is equal to Q into N Q minus one S Q D Q I Q plus zero point five B gamma N gamma S gamma D gamma I gamma into W dash. Hence Q N U is equal to Q, which is equal to twenty into one into eighteen point four minus one into remaining factors equal to one plus Zero point two into two plus into twenty into twenty two point four. 
हिंस क्यू एन यू बिकम्स इक्वल टू सेवन नाइंटी सिक्स किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर फॉर लोकल शेयर फेल्यूअर दैट इज डी आर इज लेस देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट क्यू एन यू इज इक्वल टू क्यू इन टू एन क्यू डैश माइनस वन एस क्यू डी क्यू आई क्यू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव बी गैमा एन गैमा डैश एस गैमा डी गैमा आई गैमा डब्ल्यू डैश हेन्स क्यू एन यू इज इक्वल टू क्यू इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी इंटू वन इन टू एन क्यू डैश विच इज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट जीरो वन माइनस वन इन टू रिमेनिंग फैक्टर्स विच आर इक्वल टू वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू बी विच इज टू इंटू गैमा विच इज ट्वेंटी इन टू एन गैमा डैश विच इज सिक्स पॉइंट फोर नाइन इन टू रिमेनिंग फैक्टर्स विच आर इक्वल टू वन हेन्स Q N U is equal to two fifty four point two eight kilonewton per meter square. For D R equal to forty percent by linear interpolation, we will get Q N U is equal to two fifty four point two eight plus forty minus twenty divided by seventy minus twenty into. Seven ninety six minus two fifty four point two eight. Hence, Q N U is equal to four seventy one point two eight kilonewton per meter square. Thank you.